All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Herald. I'm Dave. And I'm Tracy. What? And if you believe that, you don't know who I am, and this is big trouble. I know we always introduce ourselves. I don't know I don't why. Know. Like, I yeah. hope you guys know who That's we are. That's a good point. But I'm Lisa, well, not Tracy. I'm, and, and I'm so glad you're with us. You know, Lisa, it's only just a couple of weeks until Easter. Do you realize that? Uh, yes, unfortunately, I do. It's like two <laughs> weeks and a couple of days. By the way, um, if you don't know, registration is now open and live for both of our campuses for Easter services. So you, uh, you guys can go ahead and uh, sign up for your spot. Uh, there's three services at the Saratoga campus. Um, one uh, at the South Hills campus and the, of course, Casa de Fe. And so you can uh, sign up for those and it's and gonna be super fun. What time are those services, Dave? Oh boy. Um, hmm. Do you know or not? Yeah, I do I if think, you don't. Uh, I, do. oh, can look, you I can tell you're turning your screen know, on. Let I, me just I know. save you the time. <laughs> We're going Nine. back since we'll be inside. It's back to old times, so. No, that's right. It's there are services both inside and outside for depending yes. on your comfort comfortability of that. And the services um, are at 9:30, 11:15, and one at the Saratoga campus. 9:30 at the South Hills campus, and then uh, Casa de Fe is 11:15. Awesome. Uh, and you can remember register that. right now. The and then uh, yeah. So uh, and also speaking of Easter, of course, with Easter comes Good Friday. And Good Friday services are going to be at 5.30 at 7 at the Saratoga campus. And uh, that'll be, uh, uh, well, actually, I'm going to be there. So that's going to be fun. Jay Kim is going to be at South Hills at the 7 p.m. And you were going to ask and tell folks about uh, kind of a need that we have, an opportunity to serve. Yeah. So go ahead and talk about that. Specifically, um, Faith, our event coordinator at Saratoga, asked me to ask you as life group leaders and or shepherds, we need eight of you eight to do us a favor um four for each service so you could go to a service and serve at a service we what you would do is you would be you would come 25 minutes early and you would be on the welcome team so greeting people as they come in and then you would also be available in the prayer room after yeah. that service to pray with anyone that would um, come back to the yeah. prayer room so um if that's something that you'd be available to do oh it would help us out so much um, just there's a button below. You'll see some information about it. Just, just press below, that yeah. and it, it'll go to Faith and she'll contact you. But yeah, we need eight of you. Don't just assume someone else is going to do it. Jump yeah. in. It's actually really fun. Yeah. And, and, you know, and Good Friday is kind of a, um, I say a heavier service. It's a more contemplative and it's, yeah. it's really, it's really impactful. I think it's actually probably my favorite service of the whole year. It's just such a time to reflect on on Jesus and his sacrifice. And sometimes that, that drags something up in folks and they want to spend yeah. some more time. We take communion mm -hmm. as a group. So that's, it's a really powerful experience. So um, we need uh, about four of you per service, right? Is that what it yep. is? So eight okay. total. Well, plus South Hills, which would be, you know, 12. So, all right. Uh, so also right after Easter, Lisa, we're going yes. into a brand new sermon series, um, which is how not to read the Bible, which is based on show them the book. It there it is. It's just, I carry this around with me everywhere. Just saying. <laughs> this is a book by Dan Kimball. We're doing a sermon series on it. Lisa though, uh, you wanted to make, uh, let the, le uh, the leaders, uh, aware, uh, that the book and the sermon series actually don't one-to-one -one correspond. I mean, every, Everything we're going to preach on actually is a chapter in the book, but we're not quite going in order, right? Is that what you exactly? We just want to keep you on your toes, so that's exactly <laughs> right. Um, so once again, down below, don't just watch us, but down below, you'll see an updated um, calendar schedule of the weeks that we're doing it. What week is what chapter in what book, so that you can read it? Well, we know what book, what yeah. chapter. Um, cause there it's like part one through six and in each part there's a chapter. So, yeah. or three chapters. Anyhow, I'll just say, we'll have it listed below. Take a good look at it. We understand that this particular subject, um, may cause some like, oh my gosh, how can I lead this? So we're going to do all that we can to provide resources for you. Um, Jay is going to make himself available. Um, if during a week you have a week where questions came up and people were just like stumped and had no idea, send an email to Jay. He'll get back to you that week. He would even come to your group via Zoom if you're Zooming it. Um, if there's just a lot of questions that are happening. Apparently, we're also having Dan Kimball 
um, come and do a lab for us about the book. So if you yeah. have questions in your group, maybe write them down. And on that night, the lab is um, try to show up at the lab and ask your questions. We may also try to do a podcast with David and Jay and myself, possibly, and try to answer some questions beforehand so that yeah. as you lead into your evening or whenever your discussion is and um, that you have some extra tools in your tool belts as well so we'll talk more about that in the next herald but those are things we're working on to make sure you're prepared as best as you can be um, for those of you that are doing um, sermon series coming up in april yeah because these topics lisa are not exactly easy is the bible pro-slavery is it anti-science yeah. is it pro-violence yeah. is it anti-woman or anti-women. Uh, these yeah. are really uh, these are really serious charges leveled at Scripture and at yeah. Christians. And so we are obviously want to give you the best resources we can, so that you're equipped to not just yeah. kind of understand that, but respond to questions. And then lastly, uh, speaking of Easter, Easter almost always goes with something else called spring break. And speaking of breaks, Lisa. Yes, we're going to give you a break so you can be ready for this new series. <laughs> which is probably actually good. You can buy your book, by the way, purchase this book yourself. We won't have them as a church this year because with COVID, we don't, we're not exchanging money or touching the books. Like we <laughs> we're not you touching, book we're not touching book. anything. We're not touching anything. So I mean, you can get it on Amazon. Um, yeah, so get your book. Uh, but then during these two weeks off, starting March 28th until April 11th, you That's will right. have those two weeks off. We are begging you Many of you don't like to take time off, but we are asking you to seriously consider taking those two weeks off for your own health. Um, again, we don't want burnout with any of our leaders. Um, yeah. It gives your people a chance to, to, to learn to live without you for a couple of weeks. Um, and it's just a great time also um, to meet at a different time with your group. Maybe I'll go on a hike together or go um, grab an early dinner outside somewhere or just or just relax and not think about on Thursday nights when it's your group time that you have to go to group. Even yep. if you want to, even if you just can't wait, just, just resist the issue, the, the urge to go okay. uh, for your own health. Um, and we do care, Dave and I care about your health. And we won't have life emotionally, group, uh, physically, we, we, spiritually. And we're not going to have life group questions for those two weeks, just so you know. So um, we'll take a break until Dave gets a break. Um, we get uh, back into the, the new sermon series, how not to read the Bible. So did you, did you see this? There it is. What it looks like, yeah. It's so great. It's going to be so fun. Anything yeah. else, Lisa? I think, man, that's a lot. So I think that's it. So we yeah. won't hear, this will be our last Herald before you go on break. We'll send you one during yeah. break to get you back um, on track Prepared, again when we yeah. start again. Yep. Um, but yeah, you guys, um, well done this uh, early winter, spring season. Thank you for investing in your people's lives. The way that you're doing it is making mm -hmm. a difference and we are really, really grateful. Awesome. And we're so glad that we get to see you now on a more regular basis. So awesome. uh, many of you. So yeah. looking forward to it and uh, we'll talk to you guys all soon. All right, you guys have a great week. See you later.